Hey, Jeffrey. Yeah? You know what I need? What's that? A craft beer and a really comfortable couch. Turn right around. Oh, thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Craft Couch here at Rattle and Hum West in Midtown Manhattan. And please, sir, your name and your position, if you would. Jim Kenny, VP of Sales, Green Flash Brewing Company. My God, how lucky are we? Green Flash Brewing Company, which started in, you said, 2002, is that correct? Yep, 2002, Vista, California. Vista, California, and now San Diego, California, as of 2011, right? 2011, yep. All right. Yeah, we went from a little 14,000 barrel facility to a... Uh, Basically 47,000 square foot, 100,000 barrel facility. Wow, yeah. that's quite a move up. Now there's an interesting history here because as you guys know, we are in Midtown Manhattan, kind of the center of the universe, and your founder is an East Coast person. Can yeah. you tell us about that? Yeah, he's from uh, Bensonhurst, over I guess on the Brooklyn, Brooklyn side. Yeah. I've never been there, I don't think, but uh, he's very proud to be from New York, and this was the second place that we came to after launching San Diego because he wanted to, he wanted to sell his beer in his hometown so he's uh, very proud of that. That's fantastic. I did not know that and that makes me really because I was you know we a lot of what we talk about here at Craft Couch is the fact that you know craft beer has really taken off like a like a moonshot in New York City and on the East Coast in general in the last 10 years and it seems like New York City is like in your blood. It's always been uh one of the most important markets for us. I mean, it's it's been, always been in our top three. We like our, we'll talk about Virginia Beach is coming online. That right. since the word came out, that has really skyrocketed because we'll be local there, so people really got behind it. That's fantastic. But uh, New York's always been our top top two, top three um, areas. We spend a lot of time here, build a lot of good relationships with like Joe here at Rattle and Hum. Yep. I mean, this was one of my first experiences was coming to New York. You know, when I started taking over Green Flash of Sales and coming to Rattle and Hum was like awesome. It was like coming to Mecca, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you come thing. to New York, if you're going to drink beer, this is one of the places you absolutely got to come in and see. So. Absolutely. And now they have couches, so if you don't have a hotel room, you can maybe crash out here later. You know, good thing I brought my luggage. I might do that. <laughs> Virginia Beach. Huge. You guys are totally going to be East Coast now. You'll be bi-coastal, basically. So tell us about Virginia Beach. What's that all about? Yeah, we announced it a couple years ago, and we've uh, been building a brewery out there. It's going to mirror the Mira Mesa San Diego brewery. It's going to be a 100,000-barrel facility Wow. located in Hampton Roads, right there, kind of close to the water. Um, it's going to do a lot of really good things for us because, A, we can get beer anywhere up and down the eastern seaboard in yep. a day or two. Yep. So fresher beer, faster delivery, plus it cuts out the freight coming from San Diego, so we're going to get a little more competitive in our price. Huh. So we're really excited about it. So this is scheduled to open up around uh, July of this year. So we'll be uh, kicking out beer hopefully August. July of this year? Yeah. You know, we're good at uh, making beer. We're not very good at making breweries. And there's a lot of construction <laughs> stuff that kind of held us up. But uh, All right. yeah, it was. It's, we're really excited. I just left there. I was down checking it out. So it was pretty cool. It's awesome. It's, yeah. it's fantastic. And the buzz is great. And everybody I talked to on the East Coast super excited about being able to get fresher beer and getting beer at you know a little bit better price point because it's pretty expensive to send beer refrigerated across the country. So, like I said, New York's always been fantastic to us. I mean, it's like our second home basically, and it's you know I guess technically we are kind of local because my yeah. boss is you know born here. I had so. no idea. I was, here yeah. I am thinking like Green Flash, they're California guys. They're not going to know anything about New York. And like, oh my God, they know more than we do. How fun has it been? to watch New York City really awaken to craft beer in the last several years, in the last, let's say, you know, five, 10 years. Everywhere you go, you get a different experience. And then it ties in with what, you know, New York's known for is, you know, definitely great restaurants and food. And now yep. you're adding in all this great food. And, uh, you know, establishments like this with these fine, funky couches, you know. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about, you guys are, uh, you're kind of hop whispers. What are we drinking right here? You're drinking West Coast IPA. That's our double IPA. It initially started off as a single IPA. But as the craft scene grew and, you know, we got up to 4,500 plus breweries, um, they were all pretty much trying to mimic a West Coast style beer. Right. So our owner, Mike, decided he wanted to protect this brand. As all the drinkers were resonating towards single IPAs, we're like, this is great. They will resonate and enjoy double IPAs. So we turned this into a double IPA about two years ago. It's 8.1%. Uh, it's got... Um, Jeez, what is it? 90 IBUs on that alley, it's I think it is. 95. Yeah, 95 IBUs. All right. It's um, it's a fantastic beer. It it's, is a fantastic it's, beer. It's still our flagship, still our horse, and uh, it's a go-to beer for me anytime I see it in the bar. Well, I'll tell you what, just layer upon layer upon layer of, of flavor, and the hops kind of reveal themselves in just wondrous and different ways. This is a beer you really should not pass up if you see it on tap at a bar like Rattle and Hum West. If you see Green Flash there, you definitely want to check them out. So what's coming up 
for for Green Flash. What what other like in terms of you guys doing anything stylistically a little bit differently? You got some new beers that you're working on. What's coming up? Yeah, we have a couple of new things. Um, you know, with the influx of all the breweries, we've gotten a lot more new consumers trying craft beer. Mm -hmm. And with that, we have people that are coming in that are used to drinking some lighter domestics or lighter corporate crafts. So mm -hmm. they're not corporate really used crafts. to, uh, <laughs> you know, real hardcore craft beer. So um, with that, we've had to kind of do a little bit of innovation and we've come out with a couple of new beers. We have Soul Style, which is our single IPA, which has done great. We released that about a year and a half, and we right. took the West Coast to a double. So this year we released a uh, tangerine soul style, wow. where we use real tangerine puree. It's fantastic. I mean, it's like breakfast beer, right? I mean, you don't need orange juice anymore. Just drink this. It's fantastic. <laughs> we also came out with our first um, wheat beer that we're producing nationally, and it's a uh, American wheat ale, five percent alcohol, five IBU, made with passion fruit and black tea. And I'm telling you, it's fantastic. That one's called Passion Fruit Kicker. Passion Fruit Kicker. And then also look for Alpine Beer Company. We uh, partnered up with those guys about a year ago. Yeah. Uh, they're a small, eclectic, um, kick-ass brewery out of East San Diego. Up If there is a mountain kind of country area, that yeah. would be it. Their beers are fantastic. So we're this is allowing us to get their brand nationally, yeah. which is a lot of fun. I want to ask you about the, the name, Green Flash. Tell us what Green Flash is all about. Green Flash is a phenomenon that happens when you're sitting on the coast in the west, looking due west, and as the sun hits the horizon, yeah, on um, the water. at a certain time, you got to have the right elements, clear skies, gotta temperatures got to be right. But right as the sun goes beneath the horizon, poof, you get a nice little green flash. I've seen that. I've seen it before. I've seen it I haven't seen twice. it. I've seen it from inside our tasting room after five or six of these west coasts, but <laughs> that's about it. But what's interesting is, thank goodness, Thank God for, for all the growth in craft beer these last several years because now Green Flash can get Green Flash in the evening on the West Coast and maybe a Green Flash in the morning over in the East. So talk about the expansion of craft beer across this country. There has never been a better time to eat and drink in recorded history and we are so psyched that you guys are a part of that. Before we wrap up with you, is there anything you want to say to the folks in the, the Craft Couch community out there? Yeah, thanks for uh, supporting Green Flash all these years. Get down here and check out this new bar Joe put together. It's fantastic, and I uh, look forward to tipping a pint with you if I see you out in town. Cheers. All right, we'll see you guys next time at Craft Couch, featuring the happy hour guys, Rattle and Hum West. Cheers.